Yes, comic fans, we are back for another entry in the comic all that time forgot. Let's get into it. And for more comics and comic-related content, make sure you head over to genoscomics.com. All right, people, we're jumping right in with Rust Volume 4, right? Yes, Soul in the Machine. So again, I told, as I said, I had this completed now, so I can uh, finally reread the whole uh, four book story. Royden Leps, Royden Leps Rust from Arkea. Again, fantastic all ages graphic novel, very enjoyable. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend it, especially if you're young readers, either if you're an educator, take it to your students or you got kids, it's definitely a great way. I think they will enjoy it. I do, so. Uh, next up we have Batwoman Haunted Times. This is, I don't know what, what was this? What was this? Clex Batwoman zero through eleven. Is this new fifty two or is this the one before that? I can't remember now. Or if it was the one outside of this, this is reverse one. This might be new fifty two. Uh, but yeah, so you got J. Williams the third, W. Hayden Blackman, Amy Reed, and Trevor McCarthy. Uh, I have all these in single issues, but I just wanted a Batwoman trade for the bookshelf. And yeah, it was just a fantastic read. Just. Artists just supreme, seriously, just layouts are insane. And this is just a sample of it. Uh, every creator on this one, just top tier creator, seriously, who I'll enjoy. Uh, I think I met, well, I met Amy Reader and Trevor McCarthy, both of them at Emerald City Comic Con. Never met, uh, have I met James Williams? I don't think so, or Blackman. But yeah, I just wanted a, black, a bad woman trade for the shelf. Again, crazy deals online, so. Last one for last graphic novel for this one, uh, The Killer, uh, Omnibus Volume 2 uh, from Arkea. I have both of three and this is, so this collects volumes three and four. I have both of those individually, but since I had the Omnibus Volume 1, I figured, what the hell, I'll go with Volume 2 just to have both of them. And then maybe I'll just do something with uh, those individual trades. So we'll see about that. And then we get into a nice little stack of single issue, a lot of Avengers here. For the most part, uh, to tame a titan once more, Avengers Annual number 23. Let's snag that. Who's on here? I don't even know what that is. Uh, a couple of Spidey issues. Where are we at? 243. No, I'm still missing a few. A couple ones that are dangling in the 200s. Not too many, though, anymore. Uh, and then 253. I like that pink there. That's cool. It really pops out with the, especially with the white background, the rose, and then the rest is is it Avengers? It's all, it's all Avengers. <laughs> all right, uh, two eighteen. What's that, what's that say? Born again and again and again to save the world. This boy must die. No, don't shoot. Then got Spidey and Avenger, uh, two thirty six. Avengers, and he's back again. Two thirty-seven. Oh yes, yeah, Spidey and the Avengers getting together, hanging out. We got the Rhino and the Electro back there. Oh my! Oh, Star Fox, that guy's crazy. Uh, two sixty-two. I might have a couple copies. I know. I think I might have a newsstand of this as well. I think I needed to replace that. Uh, when Titans tussle, Hercules versus Submariner with my main man Stingray in the background. One of the most underrated costumes. And then we got Retribution, this gold cover here. 366. What does it say? Giant size, 30th anniversary issue of Earth's Mightiest Heroes. And then Vision and Scarlet Witch. Don't worry about whether the Scarlet Witch is dead or not, Vision. Because in just about one second, you're going to join her. The Avengers, number 81. I did, I think, with... Not just with these ones, but I do have, should have all of the 80s finished up for Avengers. So at least 80 through 100 now. And then here's 82 with Daredevil. My man double D. So we got Spider-Man popping up. There's double Daredevil. Avengers Assemble. Cat, Thor, Black Panther, Quicksilver, and Iron Man. All hanging out, you know. That's the day in the life of an Avenger. Of a superhero. And last but not least, we got, I think it's the... So it's the first appearance of Valkyrie and the Lady Liberators. Avengers number 83 was after this one. This is another one I spotted at conventions. And kind of see it like, oh, you want it? But some of the prices people were asking, 
So I was able to find some good deals online and add it to the collection. So then we got Black Widow and Medusa in here. All right, girls, that finishes off these male chauvinist pigs. Oh, yeah. And Scarlet Witch and Wasp down there. From now on, it's the Valkyrie and her Lady Liberators. Yeah. So, yes, tons of books there. I wonder if I should do a few more. I got, kind of got this split up. You know, we're going to give you a little bonus round. Why not? We're not done yet, people. Because I got still so many more to go. <laughs> There's Avengers 74. Who's on this? Death is the Hunter. Help, police. No, never mind. It's too late. Black Panther, Yellow Jacket. Vision. Uh, is that Archon? Ar yeah, Archon it is. Uh, 76. Defenders. What is this one? There's a whole lot going on in this cover. I like how the background, all those buildings are all gray. The day the earth exploded. Uh, another one kind of using some scale. Uh, 77. Fire the Avengers. What is this? Work, fool's work. You've confirmed my opinion of human nature. Just like anyone else, the Avengers can be bought. Yes, that's a nice shark copy too. I might be finished with the 70s too. I have to double check my notes. And then Baku here. Two Avengers down, four to go. This is the day of the mad ape. Number 78. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're wrapping up there. Still got so many more to go. But I'm splitting them up pretty good. So, yes, that is that for, again, another <laughs> entry in the uh, the comic haul that time forgot. I don't even know what I'm going to. That might be the official title. I'm recording all these videos together. So, sitting down for about four or five straight videos. But, yes, that is that. Uh, share your thoughts in the comments below in this haul here. Uh, anything, especially all these Avengers books. What are some runs that you've been working on lately? And you've been making great strides on Avengers. I've been putting a lot of focus on my main titles. Whereas usually I do focus on my main titles. But then also still pick up a lot of all those other books that I'm still after too. But now I'm like, those are definitely my main. I'm putting like attention into those books, those series. So I'm like, all right, we're definitely going up to, especially as I get into the Silver Age books of, of those runs. So there's that. Uh, and again, if you're interested in more comic book content, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this sort of content. Follow me, uh, Geno's Comics, on Twitter, Instagram, and definitely go check out the blog, genoscomics.com, for all your comic book, convention, collecting, tips, all that sort of stuff. Uh, yes, let's have some fun. Stick around for the ride, and let's engage and enjoy the world of comic books because it is crazy, and comic books have their own sort of, their own brand of craziness, and we're going to have some fun with it. So uh, that is that. Uh, happy reading, happy on time to be collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching, and peace out.